information that we're lying. Uh-huh. You need to find it, so I'll just go get it. Oh, it's right here. I need to get a notification. Right. Watch now. Live. Alright, everyone, we should be live. We're gonna find out in just a second. Yep. Here we are! Hey! <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Friday Night's live stream with Bruce and Stephanie. Welcome to Comic and Beers, our second ever live stream. The first one was a huge success. I enjoyed it a lot. I had a lot of fun. Oh, so did I. No, it was a really, really good time. Um, we'll get into the specifics, but let's start off with opening our first beer of the night. Oh, it's a hard choice. We have some good ones. If you guys follow us on any of our social media, we did post all the beers that we picked for the evening. We did, we did. Uh, Stephanie picked these up Wednesday night, and we posted, you guys, uh, follow us on Instagram and post a picture, I believe, Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, so we have six different beers. Um, if you guys are online and you would like to, and you saw that in Instagram, and you would like to let us know which beer you would like us to start with, let us know. We'll wait a few minutes before we crack one open. See if the live stream What's that? Oh. And we just got to sign into my YouTube account so we can catch the live, live stream, the, the chat. I'm going to talk, why don't you talk to everyone? So, how's everyone doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday and everyone's done with work for the week. That's pretty sweet. That is really sweet. I'm pretty excited about this. It's going to be a busy weekend. It's our our daughter's birthday. She's turning nine years old on Monday, so we got a birthday party tomorrow. It's we got a birthday sweet. party. It is really sweet. On Sunday, we have a birthday party on Monday. We have a pumpkin picking on Monday. We got one guy in the chat. What's up, Galvin? How's it doing, man? Thanks for stopping by on this sweet, sweet Friday night. <laughs> Alright, so since it looks like Galvin's the only one in, um, I think we should start with an Oktoberfest since last week was a... Oh my god, so much pumpkin. <laughs> a lot of pumpkin beer. I think this would give three uh, pumpkin and three Oktoberfest. I'm going to request that next week we shy away from the Octo fall themed the beers. Fall themed, sure. And that's <laughs> another thing. craft beer selection, a different kind. If you guys have an idea for what kind of um, beers we should pick up, we're kind of trying to do themes for a little while until we get a little burnt out on the themes. <laughs> I'm um, already burnt out on pumpkin. <laughs> uh, but we've done two, fall, two weeks of fall themed beer, so if you've got an idea, maybe all German beer or all American light beer or... I don't know. I'm sure there's some really clever people out there that can come up with a good idea. But I'm just going to pick this German one. Dragon milk? What's that? So this is... I don't know. You, you pronounce it. Polliner? Polliner Oktoberfest Mar Marzen. There we Marzen? Go. I don't speak German. I'm assuming that's German. Polish. Polish German. Something. Germany. German. 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 First beer of the mm -hmm. night. This is how we're going to start the night off. I'll start, I'm pretty sure, every Friday night off. <laughs> we've, we've been pretty consistent every Friday night. Since we've been dating. Since we've been dating. <laughs> we like beer. We're a beer family. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. So, today when I was going through my couple news websites, which is cvr.com and newsaramas.com, I did notice there was... Not a ton of really exciting news. My guess, um, the reason for that was last week was New York Comic Con, and there was a lot of stuff that happened last week with a lot of comic book announcements, some movie and TV stuff. So this week was kind of like a down news week. There was some stuff for, that we're going to talk about. Um, There's a couple of new trailers that dropped that not really. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to Gavin. He cheers cheers to Gavin. us. Um, really good yeah I was surprised I expected a very different taste and it's very smooth and delicious it's pretty good it is really good I recommend it I did just brush my teeth so it's a little weird <laughs> but um he wanted to have good breath for you guys <laughs> well I'm so close to you baby <laughs> um but yeah we have two movie materials um that dropped this week one is called uh Disney's Jungle Cruise with The Rock and Olivia no 
No. What's, What's her name? name? Olivia Wilde? No, that's not her name either. I already forgot. How did <laughs> Emma, you already... Emma something. <laughs> oh, is it Emma? Something something. Her name is something something. <laughs> Emily <laughs> Blunt. I was right. It started with an A. I was close. <laughs> um, so there's that one, but then the one I'm really excited about was... Um, what was it called? Onward. Uh, that's the new Pixar um, animated film, which looks absolutely amazing. It's well, really funny. Yeah, it's I. Uh, I am a sucker for kids movies. I just love them. Like How to Train Your Dragon one and two. I had tears running down my face. <laughs> you didn't cry three. No, three wasn't. <laughs> um, but um, there's also some um, more Spider-Man news to talk about. Which uh, did you read that article? I did read that article. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, who didn't think that Sony would get like that? Disney would buy that from Sony. Of course Disney's going to buy that from Sony. Disney owns everything that's ever been created. They have more money than they know what to do with. And Sony... I mean, they're a big company. They've been around a long time. But I still feel like they are like... They're like the Donald Trump to Bill Gates. Like, (laughs) Sony's Bill... Donald Trump. (laughs) Disney's Bill Gates. They're like billions of dollars away from each other. (laughs) Yeah, there was some fun news this week. So I gathered some stuff... We'll talk about all of it, obviously, but this is definitely, I just want to let you guys all know, this is an adult-themed show, and that is a train. Right <laughs> That's an adult-themed train. Adult-themed train, <laughs> yes. Uh, adult-themed show. We are going to be drinking beer, um, and I'm sure once we finish all six, we might, you know, be a little happy at that point, and there might be some <laughs> swear words that drop. Um, and I never curse, guys. That's not me at all. And we um, do promote the drinking of beer if you are... Of, of the drink of age, the, the legal drinking age in your area, if that's Canada, wherever you are from, the United States. If you're in Germany, isn't the drinking age like 14? I don't know. <laughs> it's something crazy. If someone knows, let us know down in the <laughs> chat. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So this, like I said, um, if you guys are 21 and you guys would like to have a drink with us, please let us know what you guys are drinking. We would love to know. And yeah, I guess let's start discussing the first topic of the night. Which? Well, I think before we start discussing, we had a question from Gavin. Gavin. He asked, what is our favorite comic or characters, both of you? Yes, and the right. So excited for that when you see Good Fantastic Four. Well, <laughs> for me, if you watch any of my videos, um, I am a huge, huge Batman fan. He has been my favorite since I was a little kid, mainly because my name is Bruce. And so, <laughs> he as thought he was Batman. Um, like, this book is about me. <laughs> it was just, I don't know, it was... As a kid, I just immediately fell in love with the character. Um, I did like the Hulk for a little while because, again, Bruce Banner, my name. <laughs> there are a lot of comic book heroes named Bruce. A lot of big ones were. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I just, whenever I see it, every single week, I'm pulling almost every single Batman book because, and I give them all a chance. They're not all great. Not Batman's not great every single time, but he is abs- my absolute favorite um, comic book character. I am new to the world of comic books, so I haven't read that many. I did just finish reading Little Bird all the way through. Love Little Bird, but I guess she's technically not a comic book character. She is, but she's in that one short series. I don't know if they'll bring her back again. As far as a repeating character, I did also just read Harleen. Harley Quinn seems super cool. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to learn more about her. The Joker seems really awesome. Mm -hmm. Not all the things I've read (laughs) in the Joker, but the one that... (laughs) He just seems cool. I like that he's just like... He doesn't have superhero powers, but, like, he still is a match for, like... I mean, Batman doesn't really have superhero powers either, but Batman has a lot of money and a lot of gadgets and toys, but the Joker just seems, like, aloof with his cool, like, powers, and he's like, whatever. Whatever. I'm just gonna beat you up, and then I'm gonna go back to my... I don't know. You know, I imagine he lives in a dungeon. There's three <laughs> Jokers in, in the DC universe right now, living, and they're all gonna come together. Like merge into one person, or no, they're gonna like, like they get gotta, together. They gotta get together. It's, gonna, it's a book called like the Three Jokers or something, written by like one of my favorite writers too. So it's gonna be really good. But what are the Three Jokers? Um, I, I don't know. It's been so long since they talked about it. It's like been delayed a few times, but it's gonna be really, really good. I'm, sh- I'm sure you're gonna want to read it. I'm gonna want to read it. It's so good. <laughs> but yeah, those are our favorite characters. I mean, I mean, I love a lot more. I love Wolverine. I love. Uh, the Flash, I love... Oh, I like Spider-Woman. Spider-Woman's great. All that <laughs> She's so good. Um, Jessica Drew. Um, I love Mr. Miracle, the way that, um, my boy Tom King writes him. 
Uh, I love Captain America right now, written by Paul. Um, oh, not Paul Tinney. What's his name? Um, James Tinian the Fourth. I mean, there's just there's so many good characters out there because in it's not just the characters, it's the writers behind that are making these characters so much better there than what they are. So, I'm not a huge New Gods fan and mm-hmm. Mr. Miracles and Big Barda. I didn't care about them before. But then, you know, you get a writer like Tom King behind them and I just can't get enough. <laughs> now you're a Big Barda fan. I am. Big Barda is amazing. <laughs> um, so, yeah. What's yours, uh, Fairy? Um, Galvin, is it Fantastic Four? Let us know. I think there's a little bit of a lag, so we can talk about our first new segment. So, like we talked about last week, guys, there was the whole big news happening uh, event that Tom Holland came, went to both the head of Sony and the head of Disney, and got them talking again and got them to sign a one movie plus one appearance film for Tom Holland Spider Man. And everyone was happy. But we all knew what was really going to happen. What was really going to happen was uh, Disney was at some point going to try to buy Spider-Man back from Sony. Just like they bought Star Wars from George Lucas. I mean, they paid, I think, $6 million for um, Star Wars. And Star Wars is a much bigger... That's all they paid for Star Wars? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I mean, it it was a bunch of years ago. Right. It was before the whole relaunch. So, you know, money was a while Interest, not interest. Inflation. Inflation. So uh, I'm sure you know Spider Man's not as big as Star Wars, but this article says um, that there has been talks that Disney is going to offer Sony somewhere in the realm of four to six million or five to six million. Billion, billion, million, not billion. Billion. <laughs> billion makes more sense. Yeah. Million. I was like, what? We just talked about how that's not a lot of money. <laughs> You're like, yeah, no, they're still going to offer only that. Yeah, so, um, what do you think about this? Do you think it's going to happen? Do you think four to six million is enough money? Are you trying to say billion again? Billion, yes, billion. (laughs) B, B, billion. I think four to six billion is definitely enough, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm surprised it's that much. I thought it would be a lot of money, but billions of dollars i mean does the spider-man movies bring in that much money that it would be worth yeah i'm pretty sure they made a billion dollars yeah yeah or close to a billion yeah that's one billion and they're hoping that people are still gonna hold yeah, but, on to the yeah, comic if, book craze of these movies i mean i don't see these movies slowing down i mean the joker well they want to talk about that um a little bit later that's made almost 300 million worldwide it's and that's, I mean, that's nowhere even near as good of a movie as Spider-Man. I mean, so when you have a movie like Spider-Man that, yes, it does cost probably four or five hundred million to make, but then you're making double that, or you're, you know, you're making all your money back plus another five to six hundred million. Yeah, you're going to keep making these until they stop making money. And I don't see, I don't see these stop, these movies stop making money anytime soon. I'm sure they won't. I just think billions of dollars is a lot of money. I could see maybe one billion. But they also get, you know, they get Venom back in the universe. They get, you know, all the Sinister Six, which is like Sandman and uh, Vulture and all those characters. Mysterio. Mysterio. But there's a lot of other characters. (laughs) Rhino. There's there's some characters out there that they'll get back into the universe, mainly Venom. Um, So those are all connected to Spider-Man. Yeah. All right, I thought it was just Spider-Man. Still not worth billions of dollars in my opinion. Mary Jane, Aunt May, um, Jonah J. Jameson. So wait, so did Sony did the Into the Spider-Verse movie, or that was Disney? No, that was uh, Sony. It was such a good movie. But it had Mar- and Marvel, you know, was there and helping them along the way. Oh, that was such a good movie. I would pay billions of dollars for that. They should do more Into the Spider-Verse movies. I mean, I agree with that. <laughs> Hands down, that movie was amazing. Um... Galvin did say that Silver Surfer is his favorite. All right. Did you, are you reading Silver Surfer Black, Galvin? Because that book, I'm not a Silver Surfer fan. Man, I can't talk tonight. Silver <laughs> Surfer fan. Billion, million Silver Surfer fan. Uh, <laughs> myself. Um, not, not the Fantastic Four either, but man, that Silver Surfer Black by Donny Cates is such an amazing book. And Trad Moore, his art was like really weird and kooky at the beginning, but man, you keep, you keep reading, you keep going, and it's just, it just makes sense. It just... Oh, it's so good. So good. Silver Surfer is in some movies, right? He was, he in, was Fra- in the Fantastic Four, yeah, right? Yeah, the so second like, one. He's like in... He's, he's the Herald of Galactus. That's like 
a really long time ago, right? They haven't made a new Fantastic Four movie in a long time, have they? Well, they rebooted it with Miles Teller and a few other people. Um, what's the guy that played um, Michael B. Jordan was in it as well? Uh, and I forgot who played Doctor Doom, but yeah, it, it was terrible. Yeah, I was gonna say I, haven't, I didn't love the first couple of Fantastic oh, Four no, movies, and terrible. then if they rebooted it, I had no idea, so they couldn't have done very well. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that you don't think four to six billion mm-hmm. is enough for Spider-Man, or you think that's too? No, much? I think it's too much. Too much. That's a lot of money for Spider-Man. But you have to think like every single time that Spider-Man is in one of these movies, Sony gets a cut. So. I mean, that makes sense. I, I, yeah, that makes sense. That, but it's still, it's still too much money. I mean, it makes sense to try to, to acquire Spider-Man every time that he's in any of these movies. He's, you know, that's what they say in the article. He's going to be the next Iron Man. Mm-hmm. You know, like, he's going to replace the Iron Man franchise, and it's going to be, like, Spider-Man's taking over the Avengers. And it makes sense they want him. I'm not saying that doesn't make this $4 billion. Like, it just... Yeah, but they, that will give them... Um, so that's... You're thinking just movies. When these movies come out, think of all the toys, all the merchandise, all the clothing. Marvel have the money, the ability to get money from all that. Right now, Sony's getting all that. Right. So every time a movie comes out and all the merchandise and stuff that anything is Spider-Man branded, all that money goes to Sony. So yeah, they're gonna pay four to six billion for that, but they're gonna make billions of dollars every single time they put out a movie. Oh yes, I still don't think it's worth that much money. I see a couple hundred million. That makes sense. A couple hundred? Billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. When these movies make a billion? Yeah. It just makes me feel like there's so many people who could use money in this world. Billions of dollars to buy the Spider-Man franchise. It just seems silly to me. Just, I, I don't agree. <laughs> she doesn't agree. <laughs> All right. Next up on our list of news items is... Joker breaks another box office record as it passes $100 million domestic, which is crazy. That's a lot of money, only domestic. Domestic. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it says in this article it was 273 globally, and this was posted, I think, yesterday? This was posted on October 8th. Um, I wonder... Frank, if you're on... on I know you have a website to, for getting um, current box, offer, box office numbers. Um, put it in chat. But I know this has made over three hundred million globally, which is if we've seen we saw the movie. We did. And if you watched our YouTube channel, you would see that we did not love this movie. We didn't love this movie, no. <laughs> but I mean, it does say something that, that about a movie like this that it can be successful. Like it doesn't need to be a huge blockbuster, action packed, crazy movie to make a lot of money. Like this shows that you can have a intellectual superhero movie or superhero character-based movie and make money on it, which is, I think, exciting for um, superheroes. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, and that's true. It is a very different superhero movie compared to what you would expect when you hear the Joker and everything else. Yeah, all worldwide, just under. No spoilers. <laughs> Alright, Frank hasn't seen it yet. Alright, we won't say any spoilers. We didn't love the movie. No. I'm surprised to hear that it's doing that well. But I guess it's kind of split as far as the internet is concerned. Yeah, yeah, because there's, there's a lot of people that are saying that it's an excellent, amazing movie. Uh, a lot of positive reviews out there. It's just, I don't know, I don't know. I, I see the positivity behind Joaquin Phoenix's performance, which is what we said in our video. His performance is outstanding. It's incredible. I just don't think the story was told very well. And it it took... just was so dragged on and like, oh my god, hurry up. It was like a, a teenager wrote it. That's what it just reminds me of, like teenage angst. And like, and then he did this, but then I was still like, oh, it's cool. And then I did this, <laughs> and I'm just drag it on. Yeah, it was, it was... What's that show that Nate watches? The Captain Underpants with the other girls like, um, <laughs> talks like that. She's like, Other Sophie. Other Sophie. Other Sophie. <laughs> That's it, everybody. <laughs> Painfully dragged on. But Frank, go see it. Let us know what you think. <laughs> um, and talking of superheroes and superhero roles. And uh, new roles being provided that aren't action-packed. Um, so... Last week, I believe, uh, Martin Scorsese came out and he kind of bashed um, 
Marvel um, superhero films and superhero films as a whole, saying that they're basically just theme parks for people. They're not actual movies. They're not, you know, films. They're just more fun things for people to go to. Who's that guy that does all the explosions and they always make fun of Michael, Michael Bay? Bay? Yeah. Yes, like that. Like yes. they're just saying it's like a Michael Bay movie where it's just explosions and cars getting thrown and nothing exciting is happening. And there was a couple people that came out and they said they were kind of like, you know, bummed by that. I know James Gunn, Gunn came out and said that he was kind of like, you know, and not that his feelings were hurt, that it, but he was like, you know, a little disappointed that, you know, one of his idols is saying that about these movies. Um, and now more people, more actors are coming out and saying that, you know, there, there's a negative negativity to the fact that the superhero genre is so big right now and it's like, you know, it's taken over cinema and that the latest person is Jennifer Aniston. Which I think is ridiculous. Why are we even talking about Jennifer Aniston? <laughs> uh, she has come out and said, like, I just want to get the quote exactly. Um, where is it? Where, do you see it? Yes. You're seeing it's Oh, yeah, and then you're seeing what's available out there, because she's talking about the roles that are available um, in the current time. Like, movies that are being produced by big studios give out scripts to all the actors. Like, oh, these are the movies that we are producing, and we would love for you to, like, you know, come in, um, audition for this role. And she says, and uh, then you're seeing what's available out there, and it's just diminishing and diminishing in terms of, it's a big Marvel movie. Or things that I'm just not asked to do or really that interested in um, living in a green screen which basically says she's offered these roles and but she's not interested in like you know being in these big budget movies where you're not acting in a real set you're you know on a big green screen with green rocks that's all gonna be comped in later i'm so. sorry guys if you're a jennifer aniston fan she makes crap movies who is she to talk about that she doesn't want to be in a Marvel movie, she doesn't want to be in a green screen? Everything she writes, everything she's in is some stupid, like, rom-com or, like, some stupid movie that is offering nothing to this world. She's not, like, an inspiring pieces that she's, like, acting on Broadway. She does stupid things just to make money. Like, she's a terrible, like, who is she to say? <laughs> like, I mean, she's definitely not my favorite actress out there. I mean, I think she does well in the rom-coms. I think she's funny. She's a pretty lady. She's okay. And she looks great, but she like 50-something, and she oh. looks like amazing for her age. But to say that, like, I, I'm not going to live... Like, she's above it is just hysterical to me. Because she makes, in my opinion, movies... Like, I couldn't off the top of my head tell you a movie that she's in. Like, she's not in anything that I'm like, oh my god, oh, that yeah, was yeah, such yeah. a great movie. No. And, like, and Jennifer Aniston is in it. Want to do this one? Yes. We need another beer, guys. Yes. We're, We're out of beer. We want to, like, be able to drink all six. <laughs> don't sugarcoat it, right. Frank. I don't sugarcoat anything. <laughs> She's terrible. Elysian? El Elysian. Elysian. That's why I'm going to suggest that it's pronounced. That's El my suggestion for the pronunciation. Elysian Night Owl Pumpkin Ale. So much pumpkin, guys. This is the last week of pumpkin. I can't do it. <laughs> Um, the beer distributor by our house, though, has, like, a whole wall of, like, a refrigerated doors that have just, like, craft beers. So I'm gonna start picking up better things next week. Or different things. I shouldn't say better, because I might try them and I might be like, guys, I miss pumpkin beer. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, yeah, I just thought that was funny that, you know, there's these big name people are coming out and complaining about the fact that these studios are wanting to make these movies because they're, you know, they're money makers and they're not giving them the money. That's basically what, what it comes down to. These these actors and these directors, they don't want to make superhero films. They want to, you know, make these gritty dramas and, you know, that are just like, you know, not superhero movies. But I think it's funny as a nerd growing up, and, you know, I didn't love comics, but I still, like, was into that kind of, like, action and terminator and all that stuff and you know that would you would see like one or two movies come out a year but now it's like every single <laughs> month you've got one of those movies and now you have people like where's my dramatic cinema i want it back <laughs> so which like how much like everything was like terminator and predator and yeah it's always been those type of movies so baloney jennifer aniston i'm sorry no one wants to watch your crap anymore oh well, that's pretty good very pumpkiny, but it's pretty good. Oh my god, so pumpkiny. <laughs> but yeah, well, you remember who's the who's the girl who used to star in Desperate Housewives? That show. 
she married Tony Parker, the basketball player from the Spurs. And then they're divorced now. I don't remember her name. If you guys remember her name, but when she first came out, she was in Desperate Housewives, and then she was, like, not in anything for a while, and she was telling everyone that she couldn't get casted because she was too pretty. Oh. And that's what she said. And that's what Jennifer Aniston is reminding me of. She's too sophisticated for these Marvel roles, and this other stupid girl is too pretty for television and movies. Yeah, but you, <laughs> then you got, like, girls like, you know, Charlie Theron. Eva Longoria! Like, that's her name. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Charlie Theron in, uh, what's, uh, who's married to Brad Pitt? No, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie's not married to Brad Pitt anymore. Oh, they're not? Whatever. She was. <laughs> Keep uh, up with the news, Bruce. There's all these <laughs> big name female actors, you know, Brie Larson. Yes, Frank, it was Brie Longoria. He remembered. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, what did I say? Oh, yeah, Ooh, Brie Stay Larson. Puff, 1983. Do you know who that is? I do not. Hello, Stay Puff. What's going on, Stay 1983. Puff? 1983. Um... You know, there's all these big name actresses doing these movies, and yeah, they might be doing it for a payday, but hey, they're doing it, so what, and they're not complaining. And so. there's people who are so much better actors that are in those movies than Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. I can go on a rant for two hours about Jennifer Aniston. How much time do you guys have? <laughs> um, move on from that news story so Stephanie doesn't get too mad. <laughs> um, this one isn't really comic book related, but it was on CBR.com and I thought it was interesting, so I, I wanted to talk about it. So, um, Corey Feldman, I guess, has dashed the hopes of a Goonies 2, or a Goonies sequel, which I heard a little bit about this, like, years ago, um, but yeah, I guess, uh, well, everyone's saying it now, what's his name, um, Sean Astin. Sean Astin came out, and he's like, yeah, no, like, a few years ago, maybe would we would have, like, the cast would have came together and did something, but... Yeah, not anymore. I mean, if you see pictures of Corey Feldman now, he does not look good. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, the poor Corys. They were just so famous back in the 80s mm. and 90s, and now they're just, I don't know, grasping at shows. But Sean Astin, he's the one who was in... He's in everything. He's in a ton of things. He was in he's Stranger Things. Lord of the Rings, and then he was in Stranger, Stranger things, things, right? He's doing things. So, like, why would he want to go back to the Goonies franchise? Like, the Goonies was all... I love the Goonies movie. That was an awesome movie, and I tried to make the kids watch it, and they were like, we have no interest in this. Really? It's oh, well, they're just, too young. They're probably too young. We'll try again, but... They're 9 and 10. Yeah. And I tried a couple years ago, so they were definitely younger and they weren't interested. But... I, I mean, I just I can't imagine them... I don't feel like there's enough Goonies references and things that make the Goonies relevant for them to do a sequel. Yeah, like, to bring that back, or even do... Like, there, the, this article goes and says that there, there possibly is talk of a reboot, but again... Stop rebooting <laughs> things from like the seventies and eighties. We don't need a new Goonies. Like, leave it where it is. It's funny. It's great. It still has nostalgia, and it's a great movie. There's no reason to go back and make another one or make a sequel with the characters that are now what thirty years older. <laughs> oh my god! What did I tell you? I saw that they made a new movie with. Uh, they made another movie with Sylvester Stallone. What was that movie? And then they made another movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. They made the other Terminator movie. Oh, yeah, These guys are Rambo. so old. And they're like, oh my god, Sylvester Stallone, I don't know what you did to your face, but like... I'm sure he has multiple, what are they like called? Like facelifts, facelifts, but like, I don't know, ho at home facelifts? He bought like a kit <laughs> and he just like does it himself is what I am assuming happened. He definitely has enough money to get someone good to do it. I don't know what he did to his face, but it's ter It's terrifying. To see what he looks like now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, all those guys. I mean, I would say Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't look as bad. As no, bad. he doesn't. And I actually thought the Terminator... Like, and, but the woman who plays... Oh, Linda Hamilton? Yes. Oh, she looks... She looked like she has been smoking for the last 40 years. <laughs> and, like, she's lived a hard life. Like, yeah. she is... She looks way worse. <laughs> she's oh very God. weathered. She is not... I saw her, I was like, oh my God! And then, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger has to be older than her. Because I feel like she was yeah. younger than him yeah. in the movies. And, like... Was, I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger looks better. <laughs> um, so, Frank, what are you drinking at home? I know you said you were going to drink from your home stash, so what are you drinking? What do you guys think about the Goonies? Should they make a remake? Should they or, uh, do a, a sequel? I would love to know what you guys think, because I think I think I want to watch the Goonies again. Oh, I would love to watch the Goonies again. Right? I have show. it on DVD. Oh, DVD. DVD, guys. DVD. <laughs> Is that a Disney movie? I think so. If it's a Disney movie, we'll get the Disney Pass and we'll have it. Because we're going to get that because we have to watch the Star Wars and all the Marvel stuff. Obviously. Channel. Obviously. Duh. Um, Alright, before we get to the two movie topics, 
Um, I think there's one more movie. Um, Yellowtail's Shiraz. Oh, Yellowtail. Like the like the wine, right? No Goonies remake or see. Yeah, Stay Puft. That's just... Leave crazy. it alone. Leave it it's alone. It's like a classic. Well, I gotta ruin things that are ours. But they have so much success with it. Because when I was a kid, and like My Little Pony and Strawberry Shortcake were huge when I was a kid. And they remade all those shows. And My Little Pony is still huge now. Yeah. Like, so... Yeah, I mean, I guess they that. have success with it, so why wouldn't they do it? No, but stop! Success. Like, how many times are they going to make all the Disney movies over? Now they have all the live-action Disney movies. Well, well, they're shooting Little Mermaid right now. I know. They're still casting for it or whatever. Yeah, so because I heard that they wanted Harry from... What's that That boy band? Harry Styles? He's in a boy band. I don't know. I don't remember the name of the boy band. It will come to me. But boy they wanted band. him to be Prince Eric, and then he wouldn't be Prince Eric. And they talked about him already. He would No. He wanted, I guess he didn't want to get, like, typecasted, because he's never acted before. It would be, like, his first movie, and then he didn't want to get typecasted into, like, Disney um, movies or kid movies. He wants, like... But he's a boy band. I think that that band is no longer together. I don't really follow a lot of that stuff, so if you guys know, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> he, there is a song that they sing that I like that, that they sing, but I can't remember for the life of me what that band is. Yeah. But Harry Styles is in it, and he was supposed to be Prince Eric. But he's not going to be. Or he, they asked him to be Prince Eric, and he doesn't want to be, so... Yeah, I say stop remaking the Disney movies live action. That's just crazy. I haven't seen any of them, and I've heard they're good, but I heard they're exactly like the other movies. Yeah. They're just live action, so... Yeah, no, just a new way for to give Disney your money. They're like Apple. Like, they just put out a new thing, and people buy it. Like. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I bought the new phone. <laughs> um, all right, so another news item was... I know Dove Cameron. I didn't know the name. I was like, who is this girl? Yeah, uh, Truffle Shuffle. That's why I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Truffle Shuffle? Oh, it's all good. Truffle Shuffle. <laughs> um, Dove Cameron wants to play Gwen Stacy um, as a Marvel villain, which is weird. But if you know um, Gwen Stacy, um, she's talking about Spider-Gwen or Ghost Spider, as she is now um, called in the Marvel Universe. Um, Dove Cameron was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. last season or the season before. It's the only thing I know from her for her from, but I guess she's in this Disney Descendants Oh my god, Sophia three. loves the Descendants movies. Our daughter loves that. Oh yeah? She loves the Descendants movies. Um, but she was the Descendants for uh, Halloween last year. She oh, was one funny. of the Descendants characters. I just watched this video on this article, um, and she is terrifying looking. <laughs> she from, does look pretty. From this to this, like the amount of makeup, and they look like they put collagen or something in her lips. She looks terrible, and she's like a baby. Yeah, I don't know who she is. I don't want her to play Spider-Gwen. I like Spider-Gwen a lot. I only know Spider-Gwen from Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, yeah. I've never read any comic books that are related to Spider-Gwen, but... No, but this girl's got, like, too round, chubby face. Like, I'd rather have a more angled, sharp... And she, I wouldn't badass. buy her as, yeah, as a badass. Like, well, I don't... She played a pretty good badass in yeah? Asia, so, Yeah, she was, like, this ninja girl, and she was pretty badass. Eh, I don't know. I don't know her, so I, I don't want her to commit to Gwen, to Gwen Stacy. But maybe I'll watch some S.H.I.E.L.D. and then I'll decide. But you guys should um, Google the name Dove Cameron and let us know what you guys think of if she should play Gwen Stacy in an upcoming Marvel movie. I don't think she should. Based on absolutely nothing. Nothing. I'm just ranting tonight. <laughs> That's it. I hate everyone. <laughs> um, Alright, let's talk about <clears throat> the Disney... Oh, look! It's Jimmy and Alex! Oh, hey, Jimmy and Alex! <laughs> Um, let's talk about the new trailer for that just dropped today, the Disney Jungle Cruise, which is a movie starring Emily Blunt in The Rock, my man, my man crush. Who doesn't love The Rock? The Rock is my man crush. Oh, I think The Rock is everyone's man crush. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, him and Ryan Reynolds. Oh, Ryan Reynolds. But um, <laughs> we, we, we watched the trailer. You can just Google Gung, Gung, Gungle. Jungle Cruise. Jungle. What is with you today? I don't know. I've only had two beers. Um, and let us know what you think. What did you think after watching this trailer? Um, it just looks like a generic rock movie. I'm sorry. I love the rock. He's amazing to look at. But he just kind of makes the same movies over and over again. I feel like I just watched a trailer to every movie he's done in the last two years i mean it's it's generic rock movie it's it, it just he takes a shirt off he saves the day to some girl who's like smart but also needs his help and like it's just 
It just everything was. <laughs> it looks so cheesy. There's this one scene. If you guys watch Drill, I'm not rooting anything for the movie. <laughs> the Emily Blunt stealing like this um, arrowhead from this place, and she's on this one of those sliding stair or ladders that is on a bookshelf, and like it falls off and it spins in a circle perfectly, and then it falls and she falls out the window and this perfect. There's this truck right underneath that she falls into. It's like. And, and she gets up and says some cheesy line to like, it was like a truck full of like, uh, people who are going after war. Yeah. Is there supposed to be in Germany? Is so. what it looks like? And she's like, oh, shipping off today. It was just so. It was so bad. So cheesy. <laughs> um, so I was kind of excited because The Rock, if you follow him on Instagram or any of his social media accounts, he's been, he recorded this movie like a year and a half ago and he was like hyping it up and it looked kind of cool, but you know, it's another Disney movie that's based on one of their rides, which. It's generic Disney movie. Yeah, Kids will a, love to see it. Yeah. It's I'm sure we'll have to The do Rock, it. so everyone will come see it. The Rock's awesome. He's not he's a good actor, but he's also like a, an amazing human being, so I yeah. feel like a lot of people support him. Plus he's got like how are his muscles even that big? I don't even think steroids could make your muscles that big. It's yeah. insane. He wakes up he he like sometimes only sleeps like two hours a day because he had he has to work out every single day to keep that stuff. If you follow him on Instagram, that's another thing you'll see is like his crazy workouts and like his cheat days and what he eats on the days oh, where he's cheat days not... are amazing. Yeah, like it's insane. <laughs> um, all right, so I think the last movie item we're going to talk about is Pixar's Onward. Um, this is a amazing movie trailer, but this. Um, I'm not going to tell, tell you guys about the movie trailer. Go out and watch it. Just type in Pixar's Onward and it will come up. But um, this article is, is comparing the trailer to Weekend at Bernie's. And if you don't know what Weekend at Bernie's are, Google that as well. you're a child. Yes, you are a child. Exactly. <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's is an amazing movie from the 80s, right? Yeah. It's about these two guys who are supposed to house it for this guy. It's like the, their rich boss, right? Uh-huh. And he ends up dying, and they ended up. They don't ca- want to like not. They don't want to go home, so they pretend he's alive, and they like carry him around. They carry him around, and prop him up. up. And, um, I didn't put two and two together when I watched the onward trailer, but after like seeing this article and watching the trailer again, it's like so on point. I, yes and no. I mean, the the premise is a little different. It's a way. Well, obviously, it's way different. But like, but there's this. It's two guys with a dad, technically. I mean, if that wasn't their dad, and we and Bernie is. I don't know. I thought there was some, some similarities there. They I feel were like it's really like the funny. Kevin. This what is it? The what do they call it? The Kevin Bacon. The seven. Uh, seven degrees is Kevin Bacon. Yeah, they're just they're stretching. They're like pulling it together, and they're like, "Hey, here's a dead dad. Here's a dead guy. Let's like walk around with him." I don't know. I thought it was really funny. The movie onward looks cool in general. I mean, I'm excited to see it. The first trailer they dropped looks completely different from the second yeah. trailer they dropped. The first one was just, like, showing how they lived in this, like, mythical land where, like, the creatures that are, like, you know, fairies and unicorns live there, but they're, like, they show the unicorns are, like, cockroaches, basically. They're, like, Cockroach. they go into, like, people's garbage and they steal things and it's ridiculous and that's hysterical. Yeah. And they just show, like, that's the movie and then they just drop this other trailer the other day where it's, like, it's now they way tell you different. way, like, they actually tell you what the story's about and, like, the kids try to bring their dad back from the dead for one day and it's like their quest to do that and it's they mess it up and then they try to fix it and yeah it looks really good it looks oh funny God. i thought the animation was a little weird bruce disagrees i <laughs> oh, no, you thought the animation looked weird on the claws trailer oh that's what it was that's what it was not the onward trailer this claws trailer claws trailer looks dope <laughs> that's that was a, where the animation looked weird that's a new netflix movie about santa claus I watched <laughs> that one too claws K L A U S. That does look funny though, but the way they animate, the way they drew it, is so weird. Um. All right, I think that's all the movie news we got to talk about. Um. The next news item we're going to talk about is you guys know who Wayne Brady is. Oh my God! If you watch Chappelle's show, you know who Wayne Brady is. Um. If you also know <laughs> who's, who's lying, in it, is it anyway? No, you, know you have to remember it from Chappelle's show. I didn't. You didn't watch it. There's an episode of Chappelle show where Wayne Brady comes on and he's like a pimp and he goes into like <laughs> what? It's so funny because they talk about like how Wayne Brady isn't really like a black person because they uh-huh. he's so white like. Not really. I mean, he's obviously not white, but they, like, say, like, his personality, his persona is so white. So he, like, goes around. That's, like, his famous line. He's like, is Wayne Brady going to have to choke a bitch? (laughs) So if you watch Chappelle's show, you know that. (laughs) 
Oh my god, advertisement, go away. <laughs> so many advertisements. But who doesn't know who Wayne Brady is? Everyone. Well, if you don't know, Google him. <laughs> I know from who, whose line is it anyway. That's such a good show. <laughs> See, Stay Pup 1983 knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's seen like, the Chappelle show. I seen. know. I, I don't know. I never got into into the Chappelle, Chappelle show. Too. I've seen every episode. It just it came out when I was in college and I was busy and I don't know. That's what I got. But um, he is going. He was cast as a character in Black Lightning. Do you know what Black Knight, Lightning is, babe? I don't. It's a show on the CW. Um, he is actually a character from the DCU. Oh, look how cool. There's what? a woman, or, I don't know, sorry, I don't know if it's a woman, Shecky Winterbottom from the UK. Hey, That's what's up, UK? That what's is up? very cool. What's Hello, going on? Welcome, welcome to our channel. Sorry, I'm interrupting you, Bruce. Uh, I don't know who Black Lightning is. <laughs> no, but he's a character from the DC Universe, and he's actually in Batman in the Outsiders right now. Um, and he's a very underused character. Um, Male. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, and he, his show is blown up. Um, he, they're on their third season now. Um, he's a guy that has like lightning powers. And black lightning. And is he like, he wears a black costume? No. He's a black man? He's a black man. And his powers are just shooting lightning? Yep. Okay. And he's from what universe? DC. DC. Okay. It's pretty I'm cool. caught up. I'm caught up. Now what is, Wayne Brady's going to be this guy. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. He's going to be in the show. There's already, this is on season three. And he is one of the new villains. What is the show called? Black Lightning. Oh, it's actually called Black Lightning. Black Lightning. I wasn't really paying attention. I was reading the chat. <laughs> I didn't hear the first half of everything. Oh, so I was talking for a while. She wasn't even paying attention to me. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's ask. We're going to ask the chat which beer we should have next. We have... Uh, which I think will be an Oktoberfest next. I can't do two pumpkins in a row. All right. So we have Bell's... Yeah, from... African American Lightning is more PC. That's very true. <laughs> I'm surprised they're allowed to call it Black Lightning anymore. Um, we have this Oktoberfest, which is Bells, and then we have Blue Point, which is actually a Long Island beer, which is where. Is it really? Live. Yep. I didn't even know that. Yeah, Blue Point's out out east. Um, yeah, so Blue Point Blue Point Oktoberfest, or one from Wisconsin? No, am I Michigan? Right. <laughs> is that my Michigan? Yeah, Michigan. I think so. So let us know which one we have next. Abbreviations. <laughs> We're waiting on you guys, and I'm thirsty, so... I still have a little bit of pumpkin beer left. I can't do too much pumpkin beer. I'm glad we're splitting these. But Wayne Bray is definitely an interesting choice to play a villain. I believe he's supposed to be a villain. I read the character description, and it sounded like a villain. He's supposed to be, like, this guy who goes to war, um, and while he's over there to help his people he of course injects himself with some super serum and there's side effects and he comes back and um things happen so um i think that dave Chappelle does a great job of <laughs> taking people you wouldn't know are super awesome like wayne brady who would think that he would be like in some episode like that and be funny so now i could see him in something well like i would think he's he's a hilarious dude but this isn't a hilarious role. No. So I'm saying, like, that he's able to go from, like, this, like, super PC family fun guy to, like, the Chappelle show that I don't uh, okay. find it as hard of a stretch for him to then go to be a villain or something like that. Oh my god, these ads are gonna kill me. Please, Chucky Winterbottom. I do not have the stomach for a Guinness. I don't know why. I can't drink dark beers like that. I'm, I can't hang. They're too. I can't hang. They're too strong for me. I am a lightweight. I can't do Guinness. What's such strongbow? I don't know if I've ever had a strongbow. Have you ever had a strongbow? A strongbow? Yeah. I have not. A Guinness next time or a strongbow? Oh, Captain Britain movie? I would love a Captain Britain movie. What is Captain Britain? Um, he is a superhero from the Marvel Universe. Um, he has, like... He's super strong. He wears, like... Obviously, a costume that has, like, the Britain flag on it. Um, they have their own little... Uh, multiverse where it's like um I guess so you can call it like a portal where they go in and they they have they can meet all the other Captain Britons from the other uh, multiverse like the other planets and I have so many questions and so <laughs> like they, if they need device like I am dealing with a villain that is a nuclear physicist and he made this bomb what do I do and you can ask questions and wait so Captain Britain's like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Like, you just go and you ask him questions and you have superpowers? No, 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 no. He is superpowers. I'm saying that there is a 
place that these characters, like this Captain Britain, can go and meet other Captain Britons from other mul- from other worlds. Okay. So you know, DC, there's 52 Earths. Right. In the Marvel universe, it's infinite. So there's infinite number of Captain Britons, and they can all meet in this one place. I don't know where it is. I oh my god, do you guys watch Rick and Morty? That's like Rick and Morty. You ever watch Rick and Morty? God, nope. you watch no good television. I watch all the good television. You watch no good television. Rick and Morty has the same thing, where all the all the Ricks can get together. Frank, you're insane. Captain <laughs> America is not ca- stronger than Captain Britain. Captain Britain is almost like godlike. Ah, Captain Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Are you guys already telling us which beer to drink? I'm picking. I want Blue Point. Blue Point it's it is. It's taking too long and I want more beer. Oh, so I have all these questions now that we're talking about Captain Britain. So Marvel and DC, they're not, they're like United States the writers. They're, they're here, right? No, so but like, there's some from all over, all over the place. There's a lot of English writers. Like, too. are there different comic books in other parts of the world? Like, or these are the only comic books and they're everywhere? Or are we, like, missing out on, like, a whole world of comics, but it's just somewhere else? Um, I know Marvel and DC do publish, um... <laughs> Try not to mix that much beer. Do publish these books worldwide. Um, I don't want to say they didn't publish them. Captain Trump will win! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if they publish them, um, in every single language, but I know they publish their books worldwide. And I know other countries do have their own publishing houses, so they do publish their own books so that we don't necessarily get those books. If those books become really big, they will, other companies like um, Image and Boom Studios or um, Dark Horse might pick those books up and reprint them Mm -hmm. here stateside. But um, does that answer your question? So is Captain Britain within our Marvel Universe? Yes. I mean, Marvel Universe is the only Marvel Universe. There's not like a UK Marvel universe. No, there's, there's no the the books that Marvel produces is they like I said they they get it, they, they get printed and sold. They have other Captain from other like Captain Africa like something. <laughs> um, they might. I don't. I'm not sure. Black Panther. They have Black Panther from Wakanda. <laughs> from Wakanda which Uganda, is a, isn't that? Or no, no, no it's Waka- Wakanda. Wakanda. It's like a made up. Yes. It's not real. It's not Uganda. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Uganda. <laughs> That's a real place, not Wakanda. <laughs> Alan Moore and Neil Gaiman, best writers ever. Right? No, they're great. Bruce loves Neil Gaiman. That's I do like his one of his favorite writers. I mean, New Gods is so good. Or American Gods, New Gods. I think they're both written by him. And then the, I don't know. Neil Gaiman's amazing. He's so good. Alan Moore is really good. I haven't run, read too much Alan Moore. I read some of the books. Like I know he wrote an amazing Swamp Thing. I didn't read his Swamp Thing. I read Scott Snyder's Swamp Thing. Um, but I know he, uh, Scott yeah. Snyder, took a lot of... That's, that's one thing that came out on TV, though, right? No, I mean, that is a, the, the character that is him, but the story is so much different than what was it. But the book is so good, so dark and twisted. And I would be interested in reading that, because American I Gods. like the, the premise behind Swamp Thing. It just was so poorly written and acted, and just painful. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> um... Let's not talk about Swamp Thing right now. I want to finish finish our news items. All right, I'm sorry, guys. I can rant and I go on. Bruce has to pull me back. Um, <laughs> so, um, the Legion of Superheroes. Do you know what they are? No. I don't think you do. Um, so, they were created a while ago. I don't know. If you guys know, let, let me know in the chat. But they are a superhero team from year 3000. From the future. From the future. Way 3001, I think, technically. Um... But, you know, obviously, a thousand years from now, the world has completely changed, and there's, like, tons and tons of superheroes. Um, but I think they put Brian Michael Bendis on this, and you've heard that name before, Brian Michael Bendis. I know all about Brian Michael Bendis. I tried to make him my Facebook friend, and he wouldn't accept my request. What? I know. Brian Michael Bendis, I want to be your Facebook friend. Um, <laughs> he's an amazing writer. He's He was at Marvel for a long time. He's now at DC. And he um, is relaunching or helped relaunch um, Legion of Superheroes, and they are giving up these cool rings. <laughs> I'm gonna make another Dave Chappelle reference. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's exactly what it makes me think of these Legion <laughs> rings. Have you ever seen the episode with, uh... oh my god, why am I completely blanking? Because you're on the spot, baby. I know, but you guys know who I'm talking Charlie Murphy, who talks about who? Who is he talking about? Help me out, guys. 
But there's an episode where he, he punches Charlie Murphy in the face, and then he's got the, the ring impr- imprint on his forehead, and that's what that ring reminds me of. <laughs> that's exactly what I saw. I'm like, that'd be a great ring to punch someone in the forehead with and leave a big mark on their forehead. But I thought that was pretty cool. You can get the ring for $25. Rick James! Thank you, Frank! Oh, Rick James, yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. Rick James. Uh, Rick James punches in the head and goes, Try my ring! Punches in the head. <laughs> Oh my god, how can you not love Dave Chappelle? I don't know, I just don't think he's so, that funny. I don't, I don't even know who you are. The Chappelle show was so good. So good. <laughs> so good. Um, another cool news item, I started following this artist after reading um, Young Justice, number 9 or 10, it must have been 9, but you want to go ahead and give that a shot? Andre Lima uh, Arojo. Arojo, I'm going to say. <laughs> um, his line work is absolutely gorgeous. It's very it's very kind of Frank Quietly. Um, if you're into Frank Quietly's artwork, um, it's just it's just gorgeous. Um, he actually just signed... <laughs> Bruce has no sense of humor. You're right, Frank. I agree. <laughs> Frank, you shut your mouth. <laughs> um, but he's an amazing artist. Brian Lovett is, is an amazing writer. And they worked, they worked a little bit on Young Justice together. And just um, dropped today that Andre signed a, I believe, a deal uh, to work with Brian Michael Bendis on a creator-owned project at DC. So it will be a little bit tied into the DC universe, but it will mainly be its own little thing within that universe. So, I don't know, that's a pretty exciting news item for me. And I think other big Brian Michael Bendis we fans. We can't have Frank up here. He's too annoying, Frank. All the, he, he will be, like, up in our business. Oh, God. He can. He's he'll want to sit on our lap somehow. He won't. Even, there won't even be a way, but he'll just like keep clawing at us. <laughs> that will get bored and he'll start snoring. Yes, and then you'll hear him snoring. He snores so loud. <laughs> For If you're reading in the chat, you can see, but Bruce's work friend, Frank, was asking where our dog Frank is, who's an English bulldog and who's just... He's all up in our business. There is no... And over the years, he's gotten more and more needy, which I didn't know think he could become, but he just wants to be on top of you 24-7, all day long. Anywhere you go. I, I trip over that dog 15 times a day. And you're in the kitchen, and he's right behind your feet, so you go to step backwards, you're almost tripping, and if you're not petting him, then he'll go like this, like, hello. It's... Or if Bruce comes over to give me a kiss, he gets in between us, and he's like, no, kiss me. It's... It's insane. Um, the next big news item was Marco Ferrer, Ferreira? Ferreria. Ferreria? Ferreria. Ferreira. Uh, um, he signed an exclusive deal with Marble. Marble? That's what, um, Marvel. Who was it just before? Can we go back and see? I forget who it was. I think it was um, Gavin was talking about Morbius. Oh, really? Yeah. He's, he was saying something about Morbius. Yeah, Mor- 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 Morbius is the living vampire. He was a scientist. He's a Spider-Man villain. Um, he's a scientist that turned himself into a vampire. So he's not really a vampire, but he kind of is a vampire. But, I mean, check out this artwork. This artwork's gorgeous. Morbius, that reminds me of Morpheus. Kind of, yes. <laughs> uh, but this guy, I mean, I Has love... Has Morbius been in anything? Not that we, not that you would know. Um, he's been in, he's been in some comic books that I've read, but... I don't know. He's, this guy's got amazing artwork, and I love when the guys sign long-term deals because you can, you'll see him on titles for an ex, more than a, an extended period of time, or at least he'll be in the Marvel Universe, and you'll be able to enjoy him. Uh, the last piece of news <laughs> item that I found... <laughs> Take the blue pill. Exactly, mm-hmm. Chucky. <laughs> uh, is um, Mitch Strarge, one of my favorite artists. Like He was on, on Mr. Miracle, and he's done... He was on Heroes in Crisis, and he's been on some other books. But he is going to be, uh, he was added recently into Batman 81, which I get, I think is released next week. So I'm sure he knew a while ago that he was going to be in it. But he's only drawing two pages, but it's two pages that I'm sure I'm going to love. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> only those two pages. I hate the rest of the book. <laughs> um, Batman, the, the Tom King run, so many people knock on this book. I don't understand it. It's one of my favorite books. Um, it's so, so good. And Tom King is an amazing writer. Mitch Raj is an amazing artist. And I love it. You love all of it. I do. Guys, we drink too slow. We've only made it through three beers, and it's already been an hour. <laughs> Have we been on an hour already? 54 minutes. Wow. <laughs> We're terrible. We need to stop talking as much. It's hard to talk when I use my hands for so much, where I'm like, Jennifer Aniston is crap! 
<laughs> so what do you guys want to know about us? Do you guys have any questions? Yeah, we'll, we'll end this with some, some... You can ask some questions. What do you guys want to know? Well, also, what are you guys reading right now? What do you think Stephanie should be reading? She's a new reader to comic books, so... I'm reading Deceased right now, guys. I have very little time to read, so... <laughs> I only get a half an hour for lunch, which is, like, nothing. I can read maybe one... Maybe two comics, depending on yeah. how much I want to look through all the pictures and... All the artwork. I actually pay attention to it. Actually, yes. I'm like speed reading. I'm like, quickly, I gotta get through two of these. So I'm reading to see. Oh, you know what we forgot to talk about? This book. Oh, right. Guys. Let's take it out of the cover. So read the boys. I wa we watched the boys on Netflix, oh. but I have not read the boys. That's, we're going to wait until they actually, um. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shaking around Stephanie, blink twice if you were reading comics against your will. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> She's not. I I asked her if she wanted to. Even Guys, I am reading them on my own on my own volition. It, they're they're pretty good. I do not like this one we're gonna talk about right now. But Little Bird was the jam. I'm totally into deceased. Like I want to read deceased. I just have I work a crazy job and it's crazy busy season for me right now. So like I'm at work every night. I'm get home till late and. We're doing our YouTube channel, so between that and three kids and YouTube, zero, zero time. Flat tire. Flat tire. I woke up to a flat tire this morning. <laughs> yeah, that was unexpected. <laughs> um, yeah, Preacher's really good, too. I've read the first trade of that. That's awesome, Shecky. Um, all right, so one book that we both read this week we picked up um, did was... Did you read it? I did read it. I read it on the trade right in Tome today. Um, it's Joker and Hardly a Criminal Insanity. Um... You want to start? Terrible. Terrible. I was so disappointed, guys. I read Harleen, was it last week? Well, last week, yeah, yeah. I thought it'd be something similar to that. I mean, we knew it wasn't going to be like the second one, but I thought it'd be the same. This is also a black label, which Harleen was my first introduction to anything black label related. It was just, I felt like I was reading an episode of Law & Order SVU, like, that's what it felt like. Like, I was reading some cheesy, like, crime scene. I don't even know the words for it. It was so bad. Like, I was, like, reading it because I knew I had to finish it so we could talk about it. But it was so poorly written. The artwork, I it's not my style at There's all. There's two different artists in the book. So, like, they do a lot of black and white pages, which is not... Which is like this. Great. It's fine. The, art, the art's fine. Um, it does But there's, yeah, like, these pages where they looks like, look at this woman they have in this thing who looks like, I don't know, I don't know if you can even see this, this woman right here, a noise, just the face she's making makes me not like this book. <laughs> this is definitely, I, don't, I mean, I don't It almost looks like they took real pictures and then drew black lines I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they did. Um, it's like this person's art style. Um. How is that art? I can draw black lines on pictures. I'm gonna write a comic book. <laughs> but, I didn't hate it. I thought that there were some interesting things overall in the book, especially the things going on with the murderer that they're following. Like, the stuff was pretty cool. Um, and if you go on to the next page, there's like this whole guy. They go through, they go, at the back of the book, Harleen is a criminal psychologist, and she helps, you know, dive into. Or help teach people how to tell from a psychopath and a just a serial killer. Mm -hmm. um, and she helps explain the differences, and that's what she kind of does at the bottom, at the end of the book. And there's such creepy stuff, shit, in the book. But overall, it is more just like a crime drama than anything else. I will say that, which. It's like know. an episode of Law and RSVU. I don't, I don't love that this take on Har um, Harleen. I mean, obviously, I think they'll probably twist her by the end of it, just like in Harleen. If I would have read this first, maybe I wouldn't hate it so much. But I read Harleen first. It's a totally different type of book. Mm -hmm. This, like, has her, like, her best friend who was her roommate got killed. and she's Was that a roommate or her lover? They made it seem like it was her roommate. To me, it was her lover. I don't know. Because when she Whoever. was talking, when she was talking to the, the other cop, she was like, well, "Well, if you came home to your wife killed, how would you act?" 
Yeah, I guess she does say that. Whatever, the whole thing is terrible. Who cares who she? <laughs> and they may in in current continuity, um, Harleen mm-hmm. is a lesbian that she is in love with. Um, poison Ivy. They're okay. a couple. They're a couple now. Maybe she's, wait, wait. Oh, I was just uh, reading in Deceased there was Poison Ivy. In, yeah, they're in, together in that too. In that, yes. Yeah, so I guess she's not. She's not maybe not gay. She's bisexual because she was between the Joker and yeah, yeah. Because that was that was the uh, the the book that I just read is when Poison Ivy is trying to convince or encourage Harley Quinn to go tell the Joker that it's over. Yes. <laughs> get get him, Shaggy. <laughs> he, he was mean to my buddy Brooks last yeah, Frank, week. He, Bruce said Frank wants you to bring the comic book back to work so he's in his paper. You can have it, Frank. Take it. <laughs> terrible. All right, let's try to drink one more beer before we leave, guys. We're terrible. Ooh, let's do that one. We'll That's a good one. Dark yes, dark. definitely that one. We have to show to the people. Oh, sorry. We are drinking the Dogfish Pumpkin Ale. I don't know if you guys know what dogfish is. I've only had it one other time. I just know that it's like a pretty, it's got a pretty high alcohol content, right? Normally it does. That's all I know it for. Excuse me. Is that it's got a high alcohol Seven, content. Seven percent. That's not very high. What did we drink last week? That was like eight point something, right? Yeah, we had an eight and a half last week. Yeah. Have a slow drinking, buddy. I'm slow. I told you I can't even handle Guinness. I'm sorry. I'm slowing down the channel. Frank, where's Nuri? Hey, where is Nuri? She's usually my encouragement. She tells me she's my my Bruce basher. <laughs> she's like, Stephanie's great. Bruce is terrible. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and where did Jimmy and Alex go? I don't know. They were on for a minute. Jimmy and Alex couldn't hang. He doesn't think his mom is cool anymore. Shecky, what time is it in the UK right now? Oh yeah, I wonder what time it is over there. I've never been to the UK. I've never... We were just talking, I was just talking about with the kids. They asked if, Nate actually asked if I've ever been to England. Oh, really? Or London. I think he asked about London. And um, he said, are we ever going to go there? Went to bed early to go to CKO. What's CKO? Oh, uh, there's a walk tomorrow. But yeah, he was asking about that. And I was told him how I've never left the... I've never left the continent of North America. Mm. Technically. I'm in Puerto Rico, but... Does it count? Doesn't count. It's still owned by the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's off... It's an island off of the United States. I've never been to the other side of the, the world. Shecky, 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? That's crazy. I have to catch up. I'm very slow. So, Shecky, what are you, what are you, what are you reading right now? Are you, are you a big comic book reader? Oh, I read that, um, oh man, I, got, I should go down and grab the book. I don't really leave the stream, though. Um, it's Something Skies Over East Berlin. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one that you told me you it's, wanted me to read? It was really good. That was really good. I was very disappointed by the Harley Joker movie book. Yeah, yeah. I was disappointed by the Joker movie. That's the only bad thing about reading... When you start reading things, I felt the same way about any book that I've read that they've made into a movie. You get so disappointed. Like Oh, yeah, the, the last few Batman movies have been, like, totally... I don't think I've ever even seen the Batman movie with Ben Affleck in it. You don't need to. I know, that's how I feel. I'm not going to probably... Well, there, wasn't, there wasn't a full movie. They've only, they, he well, was it's Batman vs. Superman. Superman, and it was... And then Justice League. I've never seen any of those movies. Yeah, you don't have to. I'm not planning on it. Although I saw that they, I saw a poster when I went to see the Joker that they're making another Wonder Woman movie. Yes. You what? don't have that in our things to talk about. Oh well, that's that's not coming out for a while. Well, it's still news, guys. Did you know that they were making another Wonder Woman movie? I'm I didn't know. Bruce is in charge of keeping me up to date on news. <laughs> Powers of X, House of X. Hey, um, Shaggy, you should s- subscribe to the channel because um, Stephanie and I, Stephanie still has to finish the last power, Powers of X that came out this week, but we're going to be doing a deep dive into all 12 issues, uh, or 6 and 6, and I do want to pick up Saga. I read like the first 15 or 20, I want to say, but I want to grab that big, um, they just released the first half because uh, they just finished... They know exactly how many they're making, and they made it to the halfway point, uh-huh. and they released this book that's like this thick, and it's all the issues together. It's gorgeous. It's not even that much money. It was like 50 bucks, and you're getting like 
56 issues or something. It's like almost a dollar an issue. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous artwork. It's written by Brian K. Vaughn, I believe, which is an amazing writer. It's, that, that book is really good. It's like a space, honestly. Like, it's crazy. I don't know anything about Saga. I'm sorry. I do. I, I have read almost all of House of X and Power of X. I yeah. didn't read the last Power of X, right? Yeah, yeah. Has the last House of X come out yet? Yeah, you read that last week. I read the six of five. Did you? I don't think so. Oh, so you're, you get you're two. I'm two behind. I gotta read the last two, and then we'll talk about it next week. Yeah. I'm a little behind. I don't love it as much as Bruce does, so. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'll, we're we're gonna try to be on next week. Um, but my best friend Josh is in from town. Um, oh yeah, on Friday. Maybe we should have him on the channel. That would be fun. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think how Heather would do with that. But Heather would love it. Heather, Heather, would you love it? You would love it. Fit two more chairs in here. We totally fit two more chairs in here, right? I feel like we could, guys. We'll share. We'll like split butts. I already need the bench up here to sit on the bench. The bench is a good idea. Bruce's birthday is next weekend, guys, and his friend from New Hampshire is coming. And that's what we're discussing. As we discuss amongst ourselves, like, you guys have any idea what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I really... I'm, I'm going to buy it. Like, I just... Every time I see it, I, I have, like, 13 books in my hand already. I'm like, mm, do I pick it up this week? I shouldn't pick it up this week. Yeah, see? Shecky also wants to read the DC zombie business that's happening. That's oh, deceased. deceased. Shecky. So, so good. Read it. You have to read that. But that book is amazing. It's like... I didn't. You don't want to see these, you know, the characters that you love die. But when you when they die, it's like, oh my god, what? So good. How are you caught up? Are you all the way to no, issue five? No, I'm only on like issue three. Don't tell me anything yet. I have no time. But when I do have time, that's what I'm reading. Bruce is like, read this. I'm like, I'm reading deceased right now. <laughs> the month of October is absolutely insane for us. It is. Everybody's birthday is in October that we know. Everybody. It's like every other day it's someone's birthday. I'm leaving at the end of the month for um, BlizzCon. If you, if you know what that is, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's just absolutely insanity. What is that mutant language? What does that mean, Frank? Are you talking about Spanish? Uh, no. Remember in, <laughs> in the uh, House of X and Power of X, there's all those crazy <laughs> letters and stuff? Frank actually spent time. Figuring out what those letters are. <laughs> and it's actually the language. Is it really? Yeah, they, they put out a cipher, um, like, in the fourth book or something like that. Or they, someone released it, but Frank knew about it beforehand. Like, he figured out how to read it. Frank, you're amazing. Frank's a pretty cool guy. Oh, Frank's daughter's in October, her birthday. When's your daughter's birthday, Frank? she a Libra? She's a Libra. Anyone who's cool is a Libra. She could be, she could be a Scorpio. End of the month. Yeah. Was Jack a Scorpio? Mm-hmm. All right, fine. Scorpios are cool, too, then. I'll accept them into the month of October. I don't even know what my sign. I know I'm a You're Libra. You're Libra. I know I am, but I don't know what... I think we're supposed to be calm. We're the scales. It's the woman with the blindfold and the scales. Libras are supposed to be even. They want no drama. I don't want to. That's why we're non-confrontational people. <laughs> we don't like arguments. We don't. <laughs> uh, the 29th. Oh, it's two days after Jax. Look at that. So she's a Scorpio. She's a Scorpio. She is. All right, Frank. We'll accept her into the club. <laughs> she's been accepted. Oh, what else should we talk about? I want to drink these other two other beers. Oh, we are never going to be able to drink these two other beers. No? I don't have enough time to talk about things. We've run out of things to talk about, guys. We're boring. We are, we're bored. We talk for an we're hour. We're so not boring. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> Shaggy, thanks for stopping by, man. I really, really yeah, appreciate really it. That's really cool. I'm so glad that you're here. He's he did he said it's a shameless rip off of the Marvel Zombies. I didn't read the Marvel Zombie book. What did what did he say? He's talking about DC. How it was a shameless rip off uh, of the Marvel Zombies. Yes. No. I, I I've said that on my channel when I first started re reviewing uh, DC. I'm like, this is basically. A very close ripoff to Marvel Zombies, but... Frank's it, wife is a Libra. That's why her salads are so good, Frank. Oh, her salads are delicious. <laughs> um, but, Shecky, it is different. If you haven't read it, um... Excuse me. I know in the Marvel Universe, once the superheroes get turned into a zombie, they're, they're able to communicate with each other, and... I mean, it's, it's silly and stuff, but... DC, that's not the case. They. That reminds me of something you didn't talk about, though. What? 
the Zombieland movie, the number two. Oh, yes. The, um, they did release a Red Band trailer um, for Zombieland, uh, Zombieland 2, Double Tap. Um, <laughs> and it was pretty funny. Um, I'm a huge Zombieland fan. Fan of the first the, one. The first movie is hysterical. It's so good. It's so funny, and I love the cast of characters in this trailer. Um, they so Emma Stone is in it, Academy Award winner. Um, Abigail Breslin in it, Academy Award uh, nominee. nominee. Ed, uh, not Ed. Um, Jesse Woody, Eisenberg's in it. Um, Academy Award nominee. Woody Harrelson, Academy Award nominee. It's like all these super famous, amazing actors, and then. It's Zombieland, and it's a completely ridiculous movie. <laughs> I'm going to check it out. Next time you do a UK-friendly live stream, I'm sure the Queen will watch. <laughs> <laughs> what makes it UK-friendly, Shaq? Yeah, I don't know. I guess because it's 4 a.m. there. If we did it at a different time, uh, then it wouldn't be 4 a.m. there, and they could watch it. Oh, Shaq, yeah, I wish I could, man. Uh, we, like we just said, we have three kids. So we do this at 10 p.m. Eastern because our kids, we get our kids in bed by 8.30 and we have to do the we whole... We were still dealing with them up until like, what, like 15 minutes before the live stream came. Like, I'm scared! Come in my room! <laughs> it's, it's, it's madness. I mean, I would love to be able to do this earlier in the day um, so it'd be more, it'd reach more people because I know 10 p.m. Eastern is not ideal for a lot of people, including, <laughs> including me. But we started doing this because um, Stephanie and I... We love each other, and we want to hang out on Friday nights, and we're usually drinking beers anyways, and why not We're talk usually to- having these conversations anyway. Now you guys just, it's like watching us in our room, just complaining, and me ranting and using my hands a lot, complaining about Jennifer Aniston, and the crap she's trying to pull. I mean, that, that, that comment was stupid. It's so dumb. I'm going to be mad about it for like two days, guys. <laughs> but, but yes, back to Zombieland, double tap. I'm sorry. It's coming out yeah. next Friday, my birthday. I'm excited. I want to see it. Woody Harrelson is hysterical. Luke Wilson is... Bill Murray is in it, and Bill he's Murray. hysterical. Even though he it's died in a... the last one, so I think it's going to be a flashback. Yeah, I don't understand, because he did die in the last one. They, they shot him. Yeah. Like, he was still... He pretended to be a zombie, and then they ended up shooting him by accident. Yeah, yeah. It was hysterical. It's such a good mix of characters, because Jesse Eisenberg has this kind of like dry, nerdy kind of sense of humor, and then Woody Harrelson has this awesome... like. Badass, I don't give a crap sense of humor. And Luke like, Wilson's in it, and he looks amazing. Oh my God, Luke Wilson, I didn't even know he was in it. Yeah, yeah he played. Oh, no, that's true, because I do remember he says something, and then Emma Stone laughs at it. I yeah, do remember seeing that. Because he sounds trailer. exactly like Woody Harrelson. They keep saying like the exact same thing. <laughs> it looks so and Luke Wilson good. is funny. I like him, too. So, all good. Boarding school. He may be a zombie now, Bill Murray. Oh, because Shaq, was saying to put our kids in boarding school so we can, <laughs> so we can record earlier. We thought about it. We can't afford it, Shecky. Oh. So I'm going to need our YouTube channel to pick up. <laughs> yeah, Shecky. Share us with all your friends. <laughs> Please tell me you have lots of friends. Like, uh, what's, what is that? Like, the GoFundMe pages. We started a GoFundMe page <laughs> to send our kids to boarding school. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> okay, can you send a four-year-old to boarding school? <laughs> Probably. If you have enough money, you can send them anywhere. All right, guys. We'll do it one more. What did we just drink? We drank an Oktoberfest, right? With the dog, dogfish. Dogfish. We can go... Yeah, was that pumpkin? No, it's just Oktoberfest. We have an Oktoberfest... No, it was pumpkin, you're right. But it doesn't taste very pumpkin-y. We didn't even talk about it, guys. We were drinking oh, the dogfish the... one, it was... No, that was Oktoberfest. No, no, that was Blue Point. That was before uh, blue, oh. uh, dogfish. We, now we're on dogfish. You're right, you're right. Bruce is so drunk, he can't even remember. I'm not even that drunk. But this was... Um... Pumpkin, but it's the least tasting... Tasting... Pumpkin-y. And that's the one thing we didn't do tonight, is review the beers. No, we did a terrible job. So I just said, we're not even talking about how we felt about the beers, guys. All right, so I'm going to open one more, but let's rate the four beers that we have drank so far. All right. Since we bring are getting, back. Bring, bring the bottles back. Since we are getting towards the end of our live stream. Uh, so we have four beers, just like Why last is no one excited about the next Captain Marvel movie? Shecky, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Bruce and I went to see Captain Marvel... And I was so drunk. <laughs> we went out to dinner before. We, had we went to dinner before, and then we went to a movie theater that served beer. And I guess I didn't realize how much I had drank. And we went and saw, like, what what did they call it? Like, a, like an XD, like this crazy movie experience where the screen was gigantic and it was 3D. And Captain Marvel's flying around. And I got so sick. 
<laughs> so sick. I was like, I gotta go outside. I had to like leave the theater. So I'm gonna have to wait to watch Captain Marvel again to decide. If it I was just... still pretty bad. Yeah, I, d- I didn't love it. And I left early. <laughs> yeah, she almost threw up. Because <laughs> I almost threw up all over the place. <laughs> All right, so we have. I told you I'm a lightweight. I can't even drink Guinness. I can't. I couldn't hang through Captain Marvel. <laughs> Motion sickness. Motion. That's what it was, Frank. She's like flying around in three D. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta go outside. <laughs> I was like, I can't. I can't hang. I gotta leave. All right, so if we have four beers, we have Blue Point Oktoberfest. We have. Just hold up higher. Oh, Esalen. Elysian. Mm. I'm calling it Elysian. Elysian Night Owl, Dog, uh, Dogfish, Pumpkin Ale, and. Polliner. Polliner. Pol- um, if I'm going to rate them, I would go Blue Point number one, Dogfish number two, Polliner, and then Elysium. I don't agree. I love the Polliner one. That was really good. Dogfish one was actually really good too. Um, Elysian and then... No, no. Blue Point and then Elysian. Elysian was definitely on the bottom of the pile. It was such a strong pumpkin, pumpkin taste. Yeah. It, was, it was very spicy. It was difficult to drink. This is why they drink in the Shire. Is the Shire like like Lord of the Rings? The Shire is that what you're talking about, Frank? So, um, Shaky, how is the video quality and the audio quality on the channel? Do I need to turn down the mic? You think? Um, is there enough lighting? What do you think? Is that my head? Am I by Tom? I haven't been coughed the whole time. <laughs> It was just because there's such a difference in height between us. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. I asked Frank last week, and then when I re-listened to um, some of the channel, or some of the channels, some of the video, and I d- definitely seemed like the audio got a little hot every once in a while, so I'm curious of what What, what does that think. mean, the audio got a little hot? That means it just gets super loud. Okay. It's like... You know, it's like someone didn't go in there and be like, oh, turn down the mic. The mic is like super loud. One time we got this, you know, the Trolls movie? Mm -hmm. We got it like bootleg from the city. You know, like those people that sell the DVDs in the street. And it was like that where like you'd watch it and then all of a sudden like a part of it would be blaringly loud. And then like you go back down. That's what makes me like, oh, Oh, this is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I can't drink it yet because I'm, I'm really slow and I still have this much of my other beer left. I'm, I'm almost there guys. I'm almost there. Frank, how's the lighting from compared to last week? (laughs) <laughs> Just you, Bruce, you're hot. <laughs> Shecky has good internet. You know, we pay this ridiculous amount of money for internet. I was just talking about with Bruce the other day. Because <laughs> we pay so we can have really fast internet. But then it turns out we don't really have... No, really we fast. have... No, we do. We have it, but no one's using it. <laughs> no, everyone downstairs is using it. It's just my computer has regular internet. Because the, the our landlords <laughs> wired this house <laughs> terribly. Yeah, they, they're good. really dumb about the wiring in this house. But anyway, my point is, Bruce likes to play online video games. I do. And that's why we pay so much for this really fast internet. His computer is here. We're on the third floor. There's no direct connection to the internet for Bruce here. He's not getting the quality internet that we're paying for. No, but when it's, I'll, I'll get even slower if you switched. <sighs> Just so much money. <laughs> Shecky, do you think that Bruce should keep paying for his high internet? I should. <laughs> Warcraft, yes. That's what he plays. War, yes. Oh, is that, you know what I was thinking? In the future? Do we have fires? We do have fires, yes. Oh, we should um, play video games together on the channel. I have zero hand-eye coordination when it comes to video games. I've tried with my oldest son to play like third-party shooter games on Xbox, and I can't. With, like, the sh- the motion of, like, moving yourself and going at the... Sa- yeah, this. This. I can't do this. Mario? I'm all about. I can play, like, That's on the Wii. That's just Mario and stuff. Like, yeah, I could totally do that. That I can handle, and I will get super competitive, and then, like... Yeah, it was what was the Mario? What was the game Mario Party? It was with Mario Party. It was a different one where they had Mario, and you could play four people at once. Mario Party. No, it wasn't Mario Party. They came Mario out with... Mario Party? No. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. It's not either of those things. They came out with it when they introduced the Wii U or the Wii... It was it was not the Nintendo Switch. It was the Wii U, I want to say. And it was a Mario game that you could play. And... 
What is fire? It's the American thing we run the Revolutionary War. Frank, you're hysterical. Shaggy. Last is Verizon. Verizon. Do you guys have Verizon over in the UK? Probably not. Verizon is Fios. Is the it's, same it's, thing. it's internet it's carrier. Home, yeah. Mm. Cable carrier. But anyway, there's a Mario game where you can play four players. It's not like Mario Party where you play and you go, well, play in one game. It's like an actual, like, you're going through the levels of Mario. Like, you're playing a regular Mario game. But there's four people with you, and you can, like, if someone dies, or you want to take someone, like, you got to jump, you can pick them up, and you can throw them, like, you can carry them with you. But me and my sister used to play, and we'd, like, take, pick them up, and then we'd kill you. Like, we'd pick you up, and we'd throw you into the ledge. <laughs> so you were me. <laughs> Only with her. I'm just saying, that is a fun game to play. You can play it. I forget what it's called. I'll have it for you next time we're on the channel. I'll Google it. Jackie knows Verizon, so he knows what Verizon is. They have That's, Verizon in the UK? So Fios is just the home version of Verizon. So Verizon Wireless is you can have a cell phone. Verizon Fios is like home Fiber. Phone. Yeah, it's the fiber optic network where you can have internet and cable through Verizon. Yeah, my old house I had uh, over a gigabit up, or no, download and uh, a gigabit up. So I had super fast internet, not so much here. I do downstairs, but not up here. Are you ready for the other one? She's ready, guys. <laughs> Took me a little while. I need to be served. Right, this, this will be the last one, guys. After we finish this one, we'll probably sign off. But It's only been 80 minutes. Jeez. You guys have stuck with us. You're true champions. <laughs> I use Virgin Media. Is that like... Well, like Virgin, like, uh, what's that guy's name? Yeah, the rich guy. The uh, rich guy. Something, something. Uh, something, something. The guy who owns Virgin. He's got blonde hair, and he's, like, super eccentric. And he's super rich, super tall. Yes, yeah, so what's his name? Rich Snow. Branson. Richard Branson. Richard Branson! Did yes. I say Richard? You did say Rich! You got it! Yes! <laughs> I win! Richard Branson, yes. He owns Virgin. Virgin I, Airlines and Virgin... I, if you guys have not flown Virgin Airlines, I would say, if you have the money, fly it. I flew it once. Yeah? It nice. I've never flown Virgin Airlines. I don't know. I'm not that bougie. Next. Thanks, pay for it. <laughs> I didn't pay for it. But yes, Richard Branson. He owns Virgin. I did not know that they had... Maybe that's a UK thing. They don't have that here, where you can get... No. Virgin Mobile? No. Any kind of media? Virgin Media? Yeah. No. We say Willy. What's Willy? I don't understand. <laughs> She's getting drunk. She doesn't know it's anything. <laughs> oh, you're a humor. We say Willy. I don't know what that means. Explain to me, Shaggy. Shaggy, do you drink coffee or tea? That's the real question. Yeah, they do drink a lot of tea over there. Mm -hmm. I like tea, though. I could do both. So my favorite CrossFit YouTuber drinks both coffee and tea. And he's from the UK? Mm -hmm. I've never been to the UK. Maybe when we revisit, we'll go see Shaggy. Shaggy, should we come visit you? <laughs> we won't stay with you. <laughs> we'll We're not going to stay with you. We're not that weird. We'll come say hi, though. Yes. You can take us to your comic book shop. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'll look at a UK comic shop. Yeah, I'd be really interested to see. That's what I want to see. Like, if there's different, different comics we are not aware of. Oh, Frank, I'm gonna take her to Midtown Comics. Um, yeah. This is gonna be one of our episodes. We're gonna go down to the city. We're gonna come check out some of the stuff that I've put together that we can't talk about. But uh, later, after it's launched, we'll tell you guys about it. For my job, we're gonna go see that. We'll go to Midtown Comics. Go to Midtown Comics. It's gonna be dope. Midtown Comics is such a better... She's, I've taken her to two shops. Took her? Took her? <laughs> it's beer. It's not an English like a word. Check is going to be like, what's he? That's what you have to English. We can visit, but no pumpkin beer. <laughs> Good, I'm sick of pumpkin beer, Frank. You can't take it anymore. Oh, we can do whole, we can do whole Mexican beer night. Was there Coronas? Modelo's? There's so many beers. Pacifico, Modelo's, um... Uh, Tecate, I don't know, go down there and find a we'll bunch find of... We'll find it. Guys, I'm half Mexican. That's why he's saying that. I also love Mexican beer. He doesn't. I've never seen him drink one Mexican beer. What do we have in the refrigerator right now? More Blue Point. I miss it's Modelo. It's like always Blue Point. You know, I've never had Modelo before. You're crazy. I've, like, tasted it. Like, someone else had it, and I'm like, okay, let me try it. But I've never, like... Never slammed it. 
I've never had a whole whole thing. Glass of Modelo to myself. It was Modelo dark too, right? Yeah. So just the both. Yeah. So that would probably be more of a shaggy. What's a Mexican? <laughs> What's a Mexican? <laughs> oh, shaggy. <laughs> Shaggy's pretty funny. We like you, Shaggy. You should come back next week. <laughs> All right. <Close> Mexican. <laughs> we should probably close this out. We're done. We're done, guys. I'm we're rambling go. now. We're out. We're just nonsense. We're going to tell you too much about our past. I'm like, <laughs> I'm Mexican. Bruce is French and... <laughs> Canadian and Native American. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So this is our live stream where we come on each Friday night. Like I said, I hope to be on next um, next Friday. It's my birthday. Um, with my friend Josh and his wife Heather, we'll come up with some, I don't know, some fun game or something to play with them. I think that 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 be might be pretty fun. I'll bet you we, we, find... we play like Cards of Humanity, but on the internet. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. Do a quick news segment and then jump into that. We'll we'll think about it, guys. We got a week. We'll figure it out. It'll be fun. Yeah, too, we'll, we'll most likely be on. Um, if not, we'll be on the following week. And, yeah, so we come on each Friday. We talk about comic book news. That includes TV shows, movies, and comic books. Um, and as Stephanie reads more and more, she'll be able to input more and more in the comic book section. I'll tell you guys, I'm very opinionated, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, and, obviously, we drink beer. We love beer as a couple. Um, and we tend to do themes. We do. Maybe I like the Mexican beer idea. There's more. There's like German beer, Irish beer. There's so many beers, but so guys, I'm Mexican, Irish, and German. All of those things. Um, if you guys <laughs> are not following on social media, please uh, make sure you do hit us up on Instagram and Twitter, as well as Facebook. Uh, Facebook should be down in the description below. Um, so it's Twitter, Twitter, Instagram. We're all there. You guys know where we are. Follow us. We well, post interesting things. On Wednesday or Thursday, we will be posting our beer list of what we'll be drinking on Fridays, in case you guys want to follow along with us. And, yeah, I think that's going to do it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. And, yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, I had fun. Thank you for everyone who commented and joined us. Yes, thank you, Shaggy. Thank you, Frank. And, yeah, we'll see you guys next Friday. Peace. Peace. And now I'm going to turn around and shut off the stream. <laughs> we can't be like the regular video where it's just like we say mm. peace and it's over. No. Nope. You get to see it real, real life. All right, now we can say it right now. Peace. Peace.